Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Thank you so much for supporting my channel by clicking on today's video. I hope you do enjoy it. So today's video, I am really excited because I'm going to be talking about some new makeup releases, but they're actually going to be um, holiday. So it's just holiday themed collections that are coming out. Now, I know that it's only September, but these brands have really been pumping out the holiday sneak peeks, holiday releases. So I thought I'd go ahead and just talk to you guys about um, the different releases and let you know if I'm interested in any of them. And definitely comment down below if you're interested in any of them because I would love to know um, your thoughts on these new makeup releases. So I am going to try to go ahead and put like a picture up on the screen of exactly what I'm talking about. I did want to say that I do use the Trend Moods Instagram page. That is just where um, and that's just how I'm notified about new makeup releases. So let's go ahead and get started. So I firstly wanted to talk about Too Faced because Too Faced has so much holiday stuff that comes out every single year. Obviously, you know, they're very well known for just coming out with multiple gift sets and many eyeshadow palettes, a fall eyeshadow palette and so forth. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with Too Faced. So I did want to start with the Pumpkin Spice palette. Now, this is more of a fall collection, but it is around up until the holiday season. So this palette um, is usually a palette that I would go ahead and purchase. Um, I do own the original Gingerbread Spice palette as well as the Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. I really enjoy both of those very, very much. Um, and so the Pumpkin Spice palette, it is very pretty. Um, don't get me wrong, but I think at this time, now it's already been out for a while now. It's available at Ulta, Sephora, of course, Too Faced website, but I think right now I'm going to skip out on this. The reason is because I already own two from the previous years and I feel like the colors in this Pumpkin Spice palette, while they are beautiful, they're not ones that I absolutely need in my collection. Um, I already have these colors over and over again. I know that there are some similar shades from this palette in relation to the other two. Um, so as of right now, I'm saying no. I am keeping an open mind though, especially if I were to find it on sale. Um, maybe if it does come later on to TJ Maxx and Marshalls, maybe I'll pick it up then. But right now I'm saying no. That doesn't mean that I won't get it. <laughs> um, but just right now I'm saying no. The, however, the, the other thing that actually launched alongside the palette is the um, Pumpkin Spice Melted Matte Longwear Lipstick. Now, I do own the mini in this one, and it was a part of a set that came with like five liquid lipsticks. Um, I believe it was like $25. And that and the Pumpkin Spice shade, I absolutely love. I wear it all the time. So I think I will pick up the full size just because I really do love the Pumpkin Spice shade and the mini that I have. And I do think that it's going to be a good purchase for me if I purchase in the full size because it's a shade that I wear um, a lot during the fall. So I'm skipping out on the palette for now, but I think I will most likely pick up the full size of the Pumpkin Spice uh, liquid lipstick. So moving on, continuing with Too Faced, but moving on to a different collection. These are definitely the holiday um, collections. So it looks like they have two different palettes. So it looks like they have like a polar bear themed and then a fox theme. And there's two palettes and then two... It looks like it's a blush and highlight duo. And then of course the Better Than Sex mascara or the Damn Girl mascara. I'm not picking up any of this. I've actually never purchased any of the Too Faced holiday sets. They just never really interest me. I do know that a lot of people think that the tin pan packaging from Too Faced is way better than the cardboard packaging. I don't know if that's true. I find that to be a little bit odd. Um, I do own the Natural Lust palette from Too Faced, and I think it performs fine. So I don't know if that's necessarily true. Like I said, I've never owned any of the Too Faced holiday sets before. So let me know if you have, you know, purchased these Too Faced sets from, you know, previous years, if you plan on picking this one up. But for me personally, I'm not going to. I think the packaging is really cute though, but I'm just not really interested in these. So again, sticking with Too Faced, um, they are actually doing a collaboration and I don't know if this is holiday, but it's all coming out around the same time. And this is the um, stunning new collaboration 
with Marielle, I think. Um, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm so sorry, but it's the Amor Caliente palette. And while the colors do look really pretty, I just don't need these colors in my collection. Um, I have a lot of very tones that I can pull out from other palettes. Of course, the shimmer shades are nothing, you know, revolutionary in my opinion. If you are a fan of this person, obviously, by all means, purchase it if you're interested. But I just... I actually don't know who that is, <laughs> um, but also the colors just don't intrigue me. So I will be passing on that one as well. And then we're getting into some other things. So Too Faced is really, really pumping out the new releases this year. I mean, it's crazy. Um, so they are also coming out with a Cinnamon Bear palette. And so Cinnamon Bear is actually another liquid lipstick shade from the previous liquid lipstick like mini set that I was talking about. And it smells like cinnamon, um, like hot tamales or something. It's a really beautiful red shade. And so they're actually coming out with a palette. And so this palette is in one of their uh, cardboard packaging. And it looks like it has eight shades and then a blush. And I'm going to be passing on this one just because I just don't, I'm not interested in it basically. However, one thing that I'm thinking about getting, I'm not 100% sure, is the um, liquid lipstick set. So it looks like it comes with the shades Candy Cane, Hot Toddy, Caramel Apple, and Sugar Cookie. I believe I might have Sugar Cookie because I think that was in the set from the previous year that I have. Um, I might have given it away to my sisters though because I just thought it was just like this nude that I probably already had. So I really do enjoy the Too Faced liquid lipstick formula. I think it's really, really nice and comfortable. And I don't feel that they're drying or anything like that. So I might pick up that set, especially for $25. I think that's a really good deal because it is a mini, but you still get quite a bit of product. And the um, formula is very, very pigmented. So you don't need a lot. So um, I think I might get the liquid lipstick um, set. And then... Let's see, I'm trying to find the final Too Faced <laughs> um, little palettes that they're coming out with. Okay. So they also have usually come out with mini palettes. Um, they are palettes that have eight shades in them and they have come out with these in the past. They also have um, one, it's called the Shake Your Pom Poms and that one is a permanent release, but they are coming out with four other like mini palettes that have those eight shades. So they have the um, Light My Fire eyeshadow palette, the Kitty Likes to Scratch eyeshadow palette, the Salted Caramel palette, and the Gingerbread Spice palette. So I don't think I'm going to be picking any of these up. I will say though, the one that does intrigue me the most is the Salted Caramel palette because that one um, I feel like is part of that holiday theme. Um, I will say, if you don't own the original Gingerbread Spice palette, I think that the mini of the Gingerbread Spice palette, the new one that they're coming out with, I think is a really good buy because it has, you know, good colors from the palette and they just pulled a couple of shades from it. And so if you don't own the original palette, but you've been wanting it, I think that's a, you know, a good thing to look into because they're only, it's $27.00. Um, you're getting eight shades, and I'm pretty sure it's going to smell like gingerbread too. So right now, I'm not picking any of those up, but the only one that does intrigue me is the salted caramel one. So I think that is all that from Too Faced that I want to talk about, um, but I want to go ahead and go back to some other brands. So Fenty Beauty is coming out with another Glossy Posse Gloss Balm set um, with four brand new shades, and these look absolutely stunning. I don't know if I'm going to be picking these up. I do like these colors more so than the gloss bomb shades that she came out with last holiday season. I think these are overall so much prettier in my opinion, um, but I don't know if I need it. I definitely don't need it, but I don't know if I want to pick it up because Fenty's gloss bomb formula is very sheer. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of color uh, payoff. It's very beautiful on the lips, but I just feel like once you have one of them, you kind of have all of them in a way. Um, so I think I'd like to see this one in person, possibly at Sephora, maybe see some reviews, some swatches online. They're also coming out with the Stunna Lip Paint Duo with two new shades, Underrated and Unmatched. 
Um, those look very similar to me. Um, I'm sure that they look different on and once you see them in person, but I'm actually not a huge, huge fan of her Senna lip paints. I feel like the applicator is very difficult to work with and the formula is very runny that I have a really hard time applying liquid lipstick as it is, but make it a, you know, harder applicator and harder formula and then it's just like way worse for me. So I think the gloss bombs are the only ones that are, you know, catching my eyes, but I'm not sure. Are you going to pick anything up from Fenty? I would love to know. Okay, so now I wanted to talk about Hourglass. So Hourglass every year comes out with the six pan face palette and it it basically retails for $80. I know that if you break it down, it is cheaper than purchasing these shades individually, but it's still $80. Um, they're also coming out with this year a, um, a quad. And the quad, it looks like it has like two of their finishing powders, a blush, and then a highlighter. And then it looks like they're coming out with some lip products. So I will be skipping out on the six pan. I don't own anything from Hourglass currently. I am interested in those setting powders as well as their blushes and highlights. Um, so I think if I were to purchase anything, I would purchase the four pan, I'm the quad. I've seen swatches of the quad and it looks really, really pretty. And I think that they would be pigmented enough for me. I've tried one blush from Hourglass in the past and it was just not pigmented enough for me. I am someone who loves blush. You know that whenever you watch my Get Ready With Me's, I feel like I'm there for like five minutes applying blush. So their formula was just not pigmented enough for me, but I feel like the blush that's in the quad will work for me. So I don't know, it's like $58 I think. Don't quote me on that, I think it is, but I will think about it. It's very expensive, but I actually don't own anything from Hourglass and I'm interested in trying out the formula. So comment down below if you like Hourglass and if you do, what products do you like from them? And uh, if you think I should pick up the quad. Okay, so I did want to also talk about Becca. So Becca is coming out with a highlighter palette and it is just not interesting to me, so I will be skipping that. I can definitely see this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls in a little while. Um, they do have cute little like highlighter ornaments, but the thing is they're all in shades that I have already, so I'm not really interested in that. They do have a cute little like three highlighter mini set. I think that is a really great deal and a great set if you don't own any Becca highlighters and you're wanting to purchase them and because it's very difficult to hit pan and finish up a highlighter. So if you can get it in a mini, I think that's great. So I am skipping over all of this, to be honest. I do really enjoy Becca's face products. I love her highlighters, but the thing is, I just feel like everything right now that they're coming out with is just not intriguing to me. And on top of that, I just feel like they always come out with, with face palettes, like all the time. And there it's nothing new in my opinion. So I'm not really feeling this. I think it is also a collaboration with Barbie Herrera. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I think she is on Euphoria. I don't watch the show, so I don't know who she is. But if you do and you want to support, you know, you could pur purchase this collection from Becca, but I'm going to go ahead and be skipping out on it. Okay, so Dior is actually coming out with um, really cute glow face palettes. So they already have one. Um, in their permanent line, it gets raved about time and time and again. And so I'm pretty tempted to purchase one of these. I don't know if I will because as far as a highlighter palette, like a complete palette that's devoted to highlights, I just don't think I need, but they do look really stunning in the swatches and I've heard really great things. So I'm interested in possibly um, purchasing either the copper gold or the rose gold one, probably more so the rose gold. I feel like the copper gold um, is going to be a little bit too deep for me. So the rose gold one is really, really stunning and it looks like it will work for me. So depending on the price of these, I'm sure that the price is released. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know what the price on these is, but um, if, you know, if the price is reasonable, I could see myself picking, you know, one of these up, that rose gold one probably but I'm just not sure, I'll have to think about it. Um, so comment down below if you've tried those, I'd love to know. So let's move on to Tarte. So Tarte is coming out with a lot, they usually always do. I feel like it's Tarte and Too Faced that come out with a ton. 
Um, something that I am actually a little bit interested in, I'll have to see, they're actually coming out with a three piece tartlet Amazonian clay eyeshadow set. So this is really cute and it's a very cool concept. I think this is very neat. So what they did was they came out with, um, so they have three mini eyeshadow palettes. They're like nine pan palettes, but two of them are actually minis that they made from the, like from permanent eyeshadow uh, palettes that they already have. So they made a mini of the Bloom, Tartlet and Bloom palette, and then they made a mini of the Tartlet Toasted palette. And then they're coming out with a brand new mini palette and it's called Little Juicy. So I think that is super cute. It's $49, but you get three mini eyeshadow palettes. So I really don't think that's a too bad of a deal. Um, and if anything, if, you know, if not all of them appeal to me, like me personally, the little juicy palette doesn't really appeal to me all too much. Um, I might gift that one to someone else. So I am really interested in that. I've actually never tried a Tarte's eyeshadow palettes. Um, I don't own a whole lot from Tarte. Um, and so I'm intrigued by this. And I know so many people love the Tartlet and Bloom and Tartlet Toasted palettes. So they're also coming out with another type of like blush, bronzer, highlight, um, concept again like they did last year i'm probably going to be skipping on that um, it looks like some lip sets and brush sets mascara sets they do that all the time featuring like their lights camera lashes so i'm going to be skipping all of that but i am interested in those three mini palette sets so let me know what you think of that i think that's really really innovative and i think it's something that more brands should do so i really do love that tart is doing that this year Okay, so now I want to talk about Sephora's favorite sets. I absolutely love these. I love to see what they come out with every single year. I don't always purchase them, but um, you know, sometimes if they intrigue me, I will go ahead and purchase one. So one that I am definitely going to be purchasing is the Sephora Favors Give Me More Lip Set. This has really great products in here. So it looks like you are getting um, one, two, three full size lip products and then you're getting one two three four you're getting five mini lip products so you're getting a full size of the Fenty Beauty Stunna lip paint in unbutton um, I know that like I said I'm not a huge fan of the Fenty formula I would though like to try this since it's a nude and see if it's just a little bit easier to apply if not I'll probably give it to my sister um, they're also coming with the Patrick Ta Silky Lip Cream and She's Independent. I am most excited about that. And then the Ilia Tinted Lip and Arabian Nights. Um, that is actually very, very sheer. So I'm excited to try something from Ilia, but it is a little bit sheer. And then you're getting, um, minis and those are going to be the Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick and Sellout, the NARS Lipstick in Tolid. Um, the Makeup Forever Art, uh, Rouge Artist in 402, and then the KVD Vegan Makeup Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Outlaw, and then lastly, the YSL Rouge Per Rouge per Couture in Red 01. So I'm really excited about all of those, to be honest. Um, I really do enjoy the Too Faced as well as the um, KVD Vegan Beauty uh, lip products. I will say, though, that, that says Kat Von D on that liquid lipstick. So I know that they made that transition, but I feel like they're giving us like older products. I'm just going to be honest. That doesn't make me mad though, because I do like that formula, but still just thought you would want to know. Um, and I'm excited to get something from YSL. So I really am going to be picking one of these up. And then they're also coming out with these Sephora favorite makeup must-haves. This also looks pretty good. So you are getting a full-size Marc Jacobs Beauty Velvet Noir Mascara. You're getting a full-size Huda Beauty Power Matte Lipstick in the shade First Kiss. Um, a full-size ABH Brow Wiz in a medium brown. And then a full-size NARS Orgasm Blush. So as far as those go, I am totally okay with all of those. I've never tried the Marc Jacobs Mascara, so I would love to try it. I also would love to try the Huda Beauty Lipstick. Um, the ABH Brow Wiz, while that's not my favorite, it is what I'm wearing today, and I do own the shade Medium Brown, so I think that would work perfect for me. Um, and then the NARS Orgasm Blush, I actually don't own that, so I would be okay with owning that. Um, I feel like the minis 
is actually like what doesn't intrigue me. I think that's so funny. So the Too Faced Mattifying Setting Powder, I actually own the full size of this, so I would probably gift that if I did purchase this set. The Urban Decay All Nighter, I do own that, but I think it would be good to have it in a mini for traveling. The Smashbox Primer, I do not like that stuff. Absolutely no. It's like a slippery mess all over my face. Um, and then the KBD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. So I am not really crazy about the minis. I feel like I like the full sizes more, um, but nonetheless, I still like more than half of this set. Like I feel like I really just don't like two of them. Um, and so I think that that's still something that I'm interested in. They also have other little sets that I'm not really interested in. Um, I think it's so awesome, the Lash Stash set that's actually coming with a full-size Pat McGrath mascara. I think that's awesome. So there's other ones as well, um, like a glow set and then um, Baby Let's Glam Outside set. So there's other ones. I think I'm only interested right now for sure, for sure, in the Lip Favorite set and then possibly the makeup must have. So I will definitely let you know and share with you what I end up getting because I would love for you guys to know and you know know my thoughts. But that is everything I'm gonna talk about today. There is so much more. If you would like a like round two of this video, please do let me know. Comment down below if there's anything that I said that I wasn't planning on getting but you think I absolutely need because I would love your thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions on things. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do give it a thumbs up just so that I know that you did enjoy today's video. And I also hope that you subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my channel. And I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye.